business. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. Hmm. Well, he does kind of have a point, I suppose. Anyway, guys. Oh, we got to follow him? Anyway, guys. Welcome back to more Evil Within. Uh... Let's start, shall we? Chapter 4. I actually forget what this chapter is called. The Patient. Okay. So, I kind of vaguely remember this one a little bit. When did we play this game? Back in nearly 10 years ago. 10 years ago. So, is he going to follow us all the way? Let's have a grab of this. Maya was almost killed this afternoon. Shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking that I was going to lose her without telling her how I really feel, was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct. But I have to let her know how I feel about her. I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. Well, brother, you never know. Shoot your shot, my dude. Well, I suppose. First things first. Did he... Did you just scream, sir? First things first. Let's open up the save point. Um... the hell? Do we have like random freakouts every time we come here? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Ah. Oh. Why so dark? This is curious. I've forgotten about this. We can't run. We're in slow walk mode. Uh, nurse? I don't remember her name. Nurse, like, Talia or something. Nurse? Well, we're locked in here. And we have some literature. Missing patient found. Caretaker, worried sick. Psychiatric patient missing since last Tuesday. Found hiding in a photography studio. Physician uh, Valerio Oh Jimenez says God's will. So I guess that's our friend's brother. Okay. The good doctor's brother. Cool. Missing. Dr. Ah, Valerio Jimenez, owner of the Elk River Hospice, last seen driving into the city. Yeah, so this is the brother. Okay. Let's turn our light on. We still can't, like, move with any speed. Which is... And we can't save. Saving's disabled. And the nurse seemingly disappeared here breathing we don't have any creep we... like we're all topped up I this is all very strange and I'm pretty sure we should have a map fragment as well it's, oh is that it on the table No. Okay. So we can't actually get out of here. All we can do is very slowly amble around. Well, game design, everybody, I guess. Now, if we could find... 
the nurse, we could probably understand what's going on. Can we not, like, go th Ah, wait, can we actually go through here? We can, we just had to push the spacebar. Oh, there's the map fragment. Alright. Now, what does the young nurse want with us? Let's go have a little look, shall we? You're being very creepy. No. No. And offbeat. No. 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 Not that way. No. Are you sure? Oh. Not a single discharge. Uh, there's something wrong with your skirt. Just saying. And she's covered in blood as well. Which is curious. I'm sure this is supposed to be very terrifying. Fine. 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 But Fine. it's just Fine. annoying. Fine. 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 Hey, buddy. What you doing there? Let me guess. Jump scare? You don't look well at all. Maybe you not. Care of yourself. I don't know either, Sebastian. I, yeah, I don't know, buddy. Kind of given up caring myself. If we could actually move that a little bit quicker, I'd have been happy. Uh, Alright, Ness. Well, I mean, I guess that was something. I don't know really what that was, but it was something. We must be going. Yes. Well, after where I've just been, I'm happy to oblige. Let's get out of here. So. Don't go so fast. Well, you could attempt to keep up, friend. Just saying. Let's have a little look around here. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, did did you see that, Doctor? No, just me. All right. Not going to comment on the invisible flaming woman that just ran out of the building. All right, that's fine. We got some matches. Maybe she was in here playing with matches. That could have been the problem. You shouldn't play with matches, kids. Wow, this place looks like it's been completely torched. Not great. Lots of empty wine bottles. Lots of stuff that we can't carry. Yeah, I do hate it when games like blue balls you like this. There's like literally nothing you can pick up. Because you've got no space for it. They got Norman. His cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I know I'm next. All right. Who got Norman? Who is Norman? And we're just going to be leaving now. Yeah, Doctor. Anything to say? No? Okay. Do you know Norman, Doctor? Probably not. Oh. She dropped some goo. Nice ectoplasm, I'm sure. Right, well, I'm guessing we're not going this way. No. Alright. Come on, Doctor. I mean, I suppose the elephant in your room is your brother, but I feel we have things to explore and search. Alright. <laughs> okay. That's where Leslie is. So, before we talk to Leslie, let's see what else we can find around here. You're not finding any of this stuff strange, Doctor? Did you now? 
You sure you saw something move? Oh. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Oh. You're a big fella. You're a very big fella. No time to deal with you. I'll have those bullets. Like every single... How are we supposed... There we go. You've got to move it up a certain way. I got you. I got you. Alright, so there's just a big chunky guy in here. We managed to shoot in the face and then set on fire. Mm-mm. B -b 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 barbecue. Now, who's next? I guess. Is that everything that's here? I remember this area being much bigger. I am going to see if I can enable V-Sync because there are some horrible. Absolute. Yeah, there you go. Because this V-Sync doesn't appear to be working. Ah, there we go. Uh, I can't remember which one of these is better. No idea. Um, yeah, apparently we should be V-Synced. But we're definitely not. <laughs> right, anyway, whatever. Fine. 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 Let's go see your brother. Hopefully he'll welcome us in. With a nice big old cup of tea. I mean, I'll have a coffee, but... Oh, brother dearest... Oh, hello. I don't know what could have happened here, but that guy's as thick as pig shit. Obviously pre-lobotomized. I don't want to worry you, uh, Doctor, but this probably isn't actually real. Don't you fret, huh? Who's not to fret? Are we not to fret? Why should we be fretting? It's just a another day in this hellhole to me. Alright. Ooh. Who is making all that noise? There's definitely another monster around here somewhere. Can't remember what they're called, like a lost or something. Unless he's downstairs. Must be downstairs. Alright. Come to Papa. I guess we're going to have to open this bad boy up. Oh, brother dearest. Hush, hush. Don't you fret. It's kind of like the bit from Code Veronica. Where you meet the doctor. Hush, hush. Don't you fret. Doc, no, don't. Valerio, it's me. The good doctor is here. This is my brother, Valerio. Leslie's original doctor. Peel away. Oof. Gribbly. Let's expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Yes, he's a little bit twisted. Okay. <laughs> that did not have the desired effect. Alright, come on, Doctor. Let's have some brain surgery. I had forgotten how good that shotgun felt. Oof. 
Oh dear. Just uh, done that to Valerio. Put another shell in the shotgun and uh, impossible. Impossible. Ah, that's actually quite. Uh... Ooh, quite the opposite to impossible, actually, uh, Doctor. I mean, what did you just see with your own eyes? Um. Somewhere around. Come on. How do we perform surgery? Is it not that? Nope. How do I. Eh, come on. Eh, eh, nope. Ah, there we go. Alright, not sure what was going on there. Hmm, let's open up the sandwich and see what's inside. Now, the x ray showed three keys. Are we going to get three keys? Sorry, bro, but they're my keys now. My key? But my key? Dick. Stingy bastard. So who had the other keys? They're literally right there. Three keys, not one. Bastards. All right, well, I suppose that's better than nothing. Yeah, so that poor doctor. Ah, yeah, we can uh, do some learning here. Hi right there, Doc. Looks like you've just seen your dead brother or something. Okay. Anything else in here? I mean, there's lots of potatoes. I guess potatoes are popular in these parts. Alright, well, we did have a freak out. So, I'm pretty sure, from what I can remember of the story, every time you hear that ear-piercing kind of, like, noise, that's when something is happening in the cell. Or in the stem. So... Ooh, grenade. Don't mind if I do. So, I'm guessing... Stem has just changed. Ooh. I guess waste not, want not. Which means there's a. It did come from outside. Yes. So I'm guessing things are going to be a little bit different out here. Ooh. I. Uh. Well, she died awfully quick. All right. I guess he's just rounding up the villagers and putting them on the big burning pit. I can't remember. Actually, I've got a feeling that you can save that guy. Or woman. Or whatever it was. Almost certain that you can save them, actually. Now, whether it's worth saving them, we all know the answer to that, I'm sure. Right, let's see if we can sneak around. Kind of, I guess. That works. Right, now, I have an axe that would like... What do you mean? How did you see me? My axe would like to have a word with your neck. Something like that. Sack of shit. So who got burned? I guess there's nothing here now. Oh, right. Her, I guess. Or him. Uh, that's a very sharp stake to go straight through somebody's brain pan like that. But, you know. I'm not here to judge. Or point holes in things. 
Uh, more stuff that we don't have space for. Yeah, this whole not being able to pick anything up is going to be really annoying, isn't it? And not being able to run more than three feet as well. Like, what were they thinking with that? Seriously. Good lord. Oh well. I guess we are going to pursue Leslie. Where did he go? He went up there, I think. I suppose we could go into the save room, but there isn't really an awful lot of point. We're pretty much topped up on everything. Apart from maybe shotgun. Yeah. I don't know. How many shotgun shells can we actually hold? Uh, Four. So we can hold six shotgun shells. Or no, eight shotgun shells in total. Oh, it's so bad. Okay. I think, like, when you fully upgrade things, I think you can hold, like, off the top of my head, I think it's like 20 shotgun shells, which is, yeah, significantly more, but it's still not fantastic. There is an unlimited ammo thing, though, which you can get um, through some manner of unlocking stuff. I can't really remember how you do it. But if I remember correctly, I've already done it, so. But that, I think you can only turn that on if He's you've got New Game there. Plus. Nice shooting. Oh, thank you. What, your brother? Yeah, he certainly took lead. Took lead like a champion. Was that a bit too soon? Ooh, what do we have? What's in the box? Oh. Yeah, shotgun shells. What? A singular shotgun shell. My bad. Even though on the model for the item you can clearly see three shotgun shells. Alright. Oh, I vividly remember this room for some reason. Hmm. Why do I remember this room? Kind of feels a little bit silent hilly, doesn't it? James Sunderland just sitting there. Uh, oh. Leslie. Oh, thank heavens. Dr. Hermanis is here. <laughs> Settle down. Wait, Doc. I think something's coming. Here. Down. Oh shit, it's the invisible enemies. Oh god, I remember these things. Oh man, I remember these things. Something scary. Be still. And the worst thing about these things is they are literally invisible. Completely invisible. Ugh. Is it over? Are you still out there? I think so. Yeah, I remember those. They got like the worms coming out of their face. Because they don't even have like a haze to them. Did you kill it? Maybe. Possibly. Alright. <laughs> I'll come back. This place is a death trap. Is there anywhere safe at all? I think that's unlikely. Hmm. Can't get out. Get out. We hmm. must be going this way. All right. Um, as soon as control is returned to me, away. can't get away. What are you babbling about now, Leslie? Somebody had a fascination with somebody. Is that me? I don't know. Anyway, pussy face got shot in the face several times. Oh, there's a wall there now. That's awkward. The stairs are gone. We must be collectively losing our minds. 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 Oh, God. No. It's our old pal, Ruvik. Ruvik? It 
is you? Who the hell are you? Oh, that just don't <laughs> follow. Ended. Uh, don't follow. I think we've got no choice. Actually, we have to follow. Is there anything here that we can? Uh, nope. Actually. What the? Oh God. Um. Doctor, Leslie. Wasn't expecting that. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. We're on our own. That's fine. Sometimes being on your own's preferred, especially in this sort of n uh, nightmare. Ooh. Uh oh. Not quite what I wanted to see. At the end of a tunnel. Another bloody tunnel. What is going on here? Uh, stuff. That's all you need to know. Sad stuff is going on here. Not good stuff, just stuff. So, what have we got? We've got some bullets. We need bullets to kill things. Oh, it's oil on the floor. Good to know. And I'm guessing we can't... Oh, we can go through there, even though there's like a giant... Uh, cannot cross sign on it. Ooh. Right. Careful there. Let's go have a little look. We've got lots of levers. Lots of trip wires. Oh, I remember this room. Okay. Yeah, this room, there's like quite the battle here, if memory serves me. Yeah, I. Oh, no. I remember this. Did I just. No. I thought I destroyed that ammo then. I was just about to complain. Ooh. So we've got some fun toys to play with. Alright. Let's keep going. I guess there's not really much to see here. <clears throat> we can go up, I guess. Which might not be an awful idea. Let's go back into the other room first, though. Yeah, I, I do remember this now. There's, like, loads of enemies attacking us from, like, every single bloody angle. And we've got, like, no... <laughs> no ammo to really... Do anything with? Okay. Alright. We have a body dispenser for reasons. I suppose in case you need some bodies dispensed, really. It's self-explanatory, I guess. Got something here. Okay. Just take a good little stock of this area. Shock bolts. Okay. Shock bolts are pretty banging from what I remember. Oof. Okay. Careful now. Don't want to walk into any nasty little traps. Can we... Can we run across... The... Okay, we can. It's like an auto-run sort of thing. Oh, right. So we can drop those down. Interesting. There's nowhere to go in there. Have a little look upstairs. This is going to get incredibly messy in here. Um, this is nothing really we can play with that. All right, so over to the other side, I guess. If we can, thank you. Okay. 
Can we get under that? Oh. How? Ah, I see. There we go. Cool. I didn't actually think that we could quite reach that, but whatever. Glad we could. Big old sack of meat right there. Um. Okay. Some noise. Now, do we want to fuck with this? Uh. Just. Just. Hey, buddy. I remember my old graphics card. Oh dear, really didn't like your bollocks. Really didn't like your particle effects at all. Okay, what does this do? That, oh right, I forgot about that. Hello guys. Allow me to get around. Nope, can we, come on. There we go. That'll work. Alright. <laughs> Excellent. Just you on your own? I don't think so. Keep them coming. That'll work. Got one left. Wait. No. That was not all of them. Is me getting ready for a fight? Really getting, I wouldn't say concerned, but thinking we're in for some serious chop. And you give me that. All right, cool, I guess. Yeah, I was definitely expecting a little bit more there. But saying that, I guess we got a locker key out of it. Now let's play with that switch again, see what happens. Love to see what. I might actually go back and watch um, my old video actually to see how we dealt with that bit before. I'm very curious. Another body. Is that literally all you're going to give us? Yep, that's it. That's all, folks. That is all. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Um, now, can we go and grab... Can we go grab that and disarm that? Oh, come on. The stamina system is ridiculous. Absolutely savage. Gimme, 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 gimme. I love the squelching and squirting sounds. Freaking hilarious. Now, can we? Oh, I can. Okay, can't even see that. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing you can disarm the tripwires even if you can't actually see the mechanism. Like any part of the tripwire. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Cool, I suppose. Let's get a move on. Could certainly use some more bullets in the old handgun here. Nope. Oh. I remember this bit. I do remember this bit. Okay. Yep. Now. Now, you actually can run. Because she's a one-hit kill. But. 
<laughs> but you can actually kill her. Um, I don't think we've really got the weapons and the firepower to do it, but you can kill her. Uh, what have we got to play with here? We've got a shock arrow. Let's have a go. Let's see if we can. Now, the only thing you actually get from killing her is loads of brain gel, I think, and possibly an achievement, but I've already got that. Um, yes, I think it might be fun to try and kill her, because also, I think, I think these work really well on her. Yep, nope, maybe not, and we're stuck. <laughs> I know I can kill you, bitch. Yeah. Alright. I think we're just going to take the L there. I don't think we can with the weapons that we've got. Because she actually doesn't take that much. She takes... From what I can remember, she takes like pretty much a whole bunch of handgun bullets and a few shotgun shells. But obviously, if she catches you, you're going to have a bad time. And in the interest of saving time, we're not going to bother. We're just going to run from her. There is a way of stopping her from doing that teleport thing as well, but I forget. So, we're going to grab the brain juice, and we're going to get a wiggle on. Shit, I'd better run. Yeah, we better run. Ah. That's the rub. There we go. Oh, I really want to fight her. Cause like I say, she's really not that bad. Ooh. Ah, burn. Come on, you bitch. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Run. Keep moving. Out of Shit. Ammo. Out of ammo. Yes, we are. Come on, you big ugly fucker. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. Come on. Shit. It's not great. Shit. Yep. Gonna blow ourselves up. <laughs> yeah, what makes it annoying is the one hit death. Although there's plenty of shotgun shells in that room. Oh, it actually starts us here as well, which is curious. Is she going to come through? Ah. Ah, maybe you don't get to try it again. Ah, that's a shame. Let's go. Uh, we'll have to finish her off later on in the game anyway, so it's all good. It's all gravy. Ah. This is a bit of a fuck. What is it with you? Uh, she's pretty angry, dude. She's got every right to be pretty angry as well, to be fair. If you read the law. See you later. Ruvik's sister, huh? That's Laura, everybody, from what I can remember. I guess... Oh, hello. And fire is her weakness. Uh, 
Come on. Oh god, we got stuck. Yeah, it's not worth fighting her. <sighs> Especially as we're not going to get anything. What is cool, though, is as Sab's getting his face, like, slashed in, I kind of like the fact that his skull deforms. That's pretty cool. Really? Back here, huh? Yeah, it's just going to get annoying if we keep dying. Going down. Come on, Sab. Get your ass down, boy. Pretty sure we're basically at the end of this now, anyway. Yeah, man. There's one. Now, yeah, great. Thanks for completely turning me around. Poor game design. Yeah, man. And I guess we're going to burn the body. Just because. Because she uses bodies to kind of like transform and uh, that's how she teleports really. Or teleports distance anyway. So burn those bodies. Oh, here she comes. Right. Yeah, she doesn't like being set on fire. I mean, yeah, most people probably don't, to be fair. Uh, that's bad. I made it. I can't believe it. Neither can I, Sab. Neither can I. Ah, uh, could have had some more fun with the shotgun. Well, four shotgun shells takes up all of our pocket space, sadly. Wouldn't say no to some matches. Definitely could use some matches. Oh, hi, Ruvik. Yeah, um, I think Ruvik is a one hit kill. Yeah, he makes you just instantly explode. I can't remember. I can't remember how we get past him. Fatter enemies have more health. Be careful not to use too much ammunition on them. Thanks, game. Uh, possibly a stun dart? We'll try using one. See if it does much. I mean, the game gives us... Is that explosive? Hello, Rubik. Nope. Alright, I guess we're just going backwards now. I guess we can't go backwards, and now we can't run because we've run out of stamina. Um. Wait. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Sab, don't want to worry you, buddy, but. Yeah, that's not good. Oof. Well, I mean, technically we're still alive. So that's probably a net win. And that's the end of the chapter. Ooh, yeah, they're the invisible guys. They're rough. Oof. Uh, what are we on? 44 minutes. Be a long episode, but I think I'm going to leave that one as it is. So, thank you very much for you guys, and as always, till next time.